Hello guys and welcome to you in this tutorial where we will be talking about machine vision application using PLC. Now there is very few topics on the internet regarding this area from the industrial automation and I think the reason is actually because machine vision requires expensive software, expensive equipment and they are not really really available for the average user. This makes it really hard to tinker around in these concepts, try to learn them without really spending a lot of money just to get the hangs of these concepts. I don't really don't like that. So, as you know, I usually try to find a way to implement this stuff from scratch, where I'm going to teach you how you can get into machine vision without actually spending any dime on any equipment. Now, I know. There are big softwares out there that are specialized only in machine vision. And these softwares are great, but I really don't want to get into a software that has millions of features that I really don't need. Sometimes we have small applications for a small machine, and we really don't want to spend all of that money on an expensive camera or on an expensive piece of software. This is the goal of this whole tutorial. We are going to create a machine vision engine from scratch using python the programming language and opencv the library the famous library that is used for image processing now you might say okay but isn't this hard actually no if you know a little bit of programming you can create this stuff from scratch and i'm going to be really focusing in this tutorial on creating a really small vision engine and I'm not going to really make it so complicated. I just want to convey the concept of having a vision engine connected to your PLC and to your machine. I just want to demonstrate this idea. And I'm not really going to go really deep in the, into the concepts, at least not in this series. But right now, I want to create some hands-on experience where you can start writing your own machine vision engines. Now, this right here is our project. We will not be buying any piece of equipment. Even the camera, we will either use a webcam or we can just emulate that we have a camera. Even the machinery, the sensor, we will be emulating everything on our laptop so that you don't have to buy anything. Now, let's say that you want to implement this project on the site. What are the requirements? Well, you're going to need a PLC, of course. It doesn't matter what brand. Important is it can run some sort of protocol, communication protocol, because we have a mini PC right here that we want to communicate with. And actually, all the algorithms for the image processing will be held inside this mini PC. Now, in my case, I am using OPC UA. You can use Modbus TCP, you can use anything, you can implement any protocol you want using Python and just communicate with your PLC. For me, since Scott says, is really great with OPC UA. I'm going to be running a small OPC UA server on my uh, Codices PLC, and then I will be running a client, an OPC UA client on my mini PC. And the camera here, as I said, it could be a webcam, it could be a, a budget uh, industrial camera, it, it really doesn't matter. And what is this project about? What are we trying to implement? It's a bottle labeling quality control. In some chemical factories, it's really important to have a label on every single bottle. And if a bottle does not have a label, this should be immediately rejected. Because especially in the chemical processes, some of these bottles could contain the expiration date, some instructions, and it's vital to have them on every single bottle. We really don't want that to happen. So we're going to create a small program that is going to check the label on every bottle. If there is a label, let it pass, let the bottle pass, otherwise I want to reject it. Now, I have one sensor and one actuator. This is a, just a regular proximity sensor, and when the bottle is in the line of vision of the camera, this one is going to just light up and just send me a signal to my PLC that, okay, right now you have a bottle in the vision of the camera, you can take a picture using the camera and start processing it here and then send commands to PLC to act accordingly. What do I mean by act accordingly? By either activating this ejection 
a linear actuator or piston or not by just letting the bottle pass okay so if there is no label this one will detect that there is no label it will send a signal over opc ua to the plc and it will eject the bottle immediately small application but tons and tons of potential for new skills and experience okay now as i said we're not buying anything so how are we going to emulate all of this very simple we have codices run time uh, two hours are free for every run so we can simply just use codices as our plc emulator uh, opc ua is also free on uh, on this emulator from codices that's also great python is a free tool we will download the ide we will download all the library everything is free the camera i'm not even going to be using a camera i'll be using picture standstill pictures which i will put them in a directory and act as this camera already took the picture and stored it in that directory okay so in other scenarios or in any scenario this picture need to go somewhere either the frame will be passed to python directly or the image will be stored in a directory and python will pick it up and process it so we're not really doing something that is not being done already in reality but we are just simplifying it a little bit what about these sensors well in since we have the emulator here we can emulate the signal very easily by emulating the that the proximity sensor is detecting something and the activation can be done easily by the plc also by the emulation that we have an actuator we are going also to create a small gui for this plc using codices so that we can control all of this stuff i'm really excited to start this tutorial and see you in the next one